The High Tech Nomad here, and today I'm going to show you how to access a network drive on your Samsung DeX. So, one of the things I like about my DeX, as you know, I love my DeX, but one of the things that I love about it is that when I plug it into the dock, I'm connected to my network here, and so I have really fast speeds for the internet. But I also have access to my other network drives, my Windows drives, and um, a bunch of other stuff. So how do you actually access it? Well, first we're going to go to the Windows machine itself. Now you can do this in Windows 7, 10. I think you'll have a better luck at doing it with the Pro version of Windows as opposed to the Home version of Windows. And the reason for that is on the Pro version, you have a lot more control over sharing something, whereas on the Home version, it thinks you're pretty dumb. And so when you say share something, it shares it, but it's kind of a mess. Excuse me. So let's go over to our Windows machine for a minute. As you know from watching, I'm sure that you're a subscriber. If not, you can hit the subscribe button right now. Come on, get it out of the way. Okay, so if you're a subscriber, then you know that I'm recording using MobiZen Screen Recorder. That's what we're using. And then I'm using Microsoft's Remote Desktop Protocol to access my Windows machine, which is in another part of the building. So here we are now on the Windows machine. And so we want to share out a folder. So I'm going to, I'm doing this in scratch from scratch in real time. So we're going to create a folder and I'm going to call it test. We'll call it test decks. Okay. Test decks. We're not going to get overly fancy here. Um, we're going to need a couple of things. Let's go and open up a command prompt. So you can do that by clicking on your windows and typing in CMD and then just pushing enter. And this will give you a command window. We need to know the IP of this machine on the network. And again, this is for internal only. If you're trying to access your Windows folder from outside of the house, I'll have to do that in a different video because there's some bunch of steps we need to do. But if you're inside of the house, we are, are it's fairly clean. So I'm going to just say IP config and it's going to tell me the IP for address of this machine which is 192.168.64.14. I need to know that. And I'm going to go into control panel. So again, you can come down here and type in control for control panel. And we just need to check a couple of things. So let's go to system. And then let's go to system again. And the two things I want to check out, the first thing I want to check out is exactly which version of Windows I'm running. As you can see, I'm running Windows 10 Pro. So we're all set there. You can check that if you want. And the next thing I need to know is the computer name. In this case, it's Lenny, because it's a Lenovo machine and we call them Lenny for short. So here's, it's Lenny and we need to know that for later on. Now, we need to create a user. So we're gonna go into, let me go to, it's, it's under control. I'm, jumping to it, but I think you can kind of figure this out. All right, so you go to control panel and you have user accounts. And then you go to user accounts again. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna, we're gonna add a different account. Now you can use the account that you already have, but I find it's easier. I'm gonna show you, just, it's just easier to create a new account just for that. That way, if there's any kind of a problem, the only folder that can be accessed is the one that you have on there, so that's fine. So we're gonna say manage another account. And now we're gonna add a local account just for what we're doing. As you can see, I already have one called Samsung Dex, so I'm gonna make a new one just so you see exactly how to do this. Now, this is the only part that's confusing. So when you bring this up, it gives you all this other stuff, blah, 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 blah. And Microsoft keeps wanting you to sign up through Microsoft. We're not gonna do that. So we're gonna come down here where it says, add someone else to this PC. And again, Microsoft is gonna try and get you to log in with a Microsoft account. So you come down here where it says, I don't have this person sign in information. And again, it says, okay, well, I'll help you set up a Microsoft account. So you come down here to where it says, add a user without a Microsoft account. Thank you. 
okay? Now it's gonna just add a, a local user on this machine, and we're gonna call him, um, I'm not being really creative here today, so we're just gonna call it test decks, and the password is gonna be, we'll just use T-E-S-T-D-E-X, exclamation point three. Let's just take a look and see what we got here. Make sure I did that right. T-E-S, yep, yeah, because I'm gonna delete this anyways. So T-E-S-T-D-E-X, exclamation point three. And then just for me, just for our purposes, I'm gonna actually write it out. Now, they won't let you do this. If you try to do it, it's gonna give you an error. But if you put some spaces in there, then it's dumb enough to not realize that that is the actual password. So we're all set with that, that's fine. Okay, so we now have our local account. So now we're gonna go back to Windows Explorer. We're going to find our folder. We're going to right mouse button click on the folder. We're going to go to properties and we're gonna to go to sharing. And here it says, you can see it says not shared. We're gonna say share. Now we have to add that user. So we're gonna say test decks. That's the user we wanna add. It says, okay, if we just want read capability, which I don't want, I want read write. I wanna be able to store things on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click share. And it says, okay, it's gonna be called Lenny Test Dex. Okay, that's fine. Now, the next thing I do is I go back into security. I make sure that Test Dex is there and make sure it's all the way, all the way straight down. You can see allow, 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 okay? I'm gonna click on edit again, just make sure, because this is where you're gonna run into issues. It, sometimes it doesn't give you all the permissions, and if you don't have all the permissions, then you're gonna run into error after error after error. So we'll go ahead and hit close, so that should be all set. So now we're gonna go back to our Samsung DeX, and we're going to find a program in the Play Store, I'll have a link down the bottom, it's called ES File Explorer. Now they have two versions. They have EX File Explorer and ES File Explorer Pro. Pay the extra, whatever it is, get the Pro version. And the reason for that is, is that there's, if you get the first one and then you want to talk to Windows, then you have to sort of download something. This has got everything in it. All right? This is any, anything you want, this has got in it. Okay? Uh, as you can see, I can connect to a Dropbox account, I can connect to Android TV, to Bluetooth, remote, anything you want is in this. So just go ahead and just get that. So now we're going to go to Network, and we already have it here, but I'm going to show you what you would do. You would click on New, you would click on LAN, you would type in for the domain name, Lenny, and that's usually all caps because that's what that computer name was. I would put in the drive that I want, which is 192.168.64.14. You had that from before. Now they say put the directory that you want to do. I don't bother doing that. I find I run into more issues when I do that. We're going to come over here. We're going to say T-E-S-T, D-E-X, and I'm going to say T-E-S-T, D-E-X, exclamation point three. And then it says, what do you want to call it? And we're just, we'll call it, we'll call it Dex, okay? And even though we already have one, you can see it created another one, that's fine. Now when we double click on that, you will see other shares, but you will find that you're gonna have trouble getting into any of those other shares, which makes sense. You have not given it permission to go into any of those folders. The only one we gave it permission for was Test Dex. There we are in Test Dex. And now if we need to create a folder, junk, there we are, bada boom, bada bing, Bob's your uncle, so now you can move things around, so for example, if I go back to local, I go to, this is my local here, the, meaning the, the local drive is the phone, so this zero is the memory inside of the phone, this triple zero, yours might look different, this is my SD card, and this is a chip that is plugged into an SD card reader. So you will definitely have the zero 
You may or may not have these other ones depending upon whether you have an SD card. I'm assuming if you have an S8, you probably have an SD card. So the SD card will be the next one. You can tell it looks like a little SD card. And now I can go in here. I don't think I have any pictures though. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now I have a picture. That's fine. Let me come back out. I will click and hold. I now can say cut. I can go back to network. I'm going to click on network. I'm going to go to Dex, test Dex, and I'll hit paste. And as you can see, that is now moving it to my network drive. Now I have network drive drives, meaning I have some network drives on there. I find it easier, faster, better, smarter to map to the C drive on your computer. And then if you need to move things over, that's fine. Or if it's just a network drive, then that's all you have to do. It's just that it'll be faster if it's just talking to the C drive. Let's go back over to the other side. Let's go into test decks. And bada boom, bada bing, bitty boop, Bob's your uncle. There's the file there, we're all set. We'll uh, rename it here as success. And of course, if we go back over to the other side and we do a refresh, you can see it's renamed that. And that's all there is to it. Um, if you follow those steps, you will be fine. If you have any questions, please feel free. And again, if you do those steps so that you make sure that you have permissions to talk to that folder and you make it simple, you, may, you, have, you know what your password is, you know what your machine name is, you shouldn't have any problem. Any problem I've seen is when people don't have, they didn't share it out properly or they picked a different name or they didn't put in whatever the other, you do all that and you're just, you're, you're asking for trouble. So you want to make sure that you do that. You can add this, so I should be able to add that to favorites. So that if I just come up to favorites, let's see, where is it? Come over here. So uh, where is that? Okay. So if you have a favorites, you can go, oh, there it is right there. And now I can just click right on it and get right into it. I don't have to click and go in and go in. Um, again, this program also will let you add to different other cloud services. So I can actually have a connection to, as you can see right there, Box, SugarSync, Dropbox, OneDrive, G Drive, uh, S3, which is Amazon, Yandex, MegaCloud, uh, ba Badu, 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 <laughs> and Mediafire. So again, it, and as well as FTP and a couple other things, but probably, what you're probably going to do more than anything else is just be able to map to a network drive. So this is fantastic for being able to do this now. Until the next video, please hit the like button. Well, not until then. Hit it now. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I've been getting a lot of great response from you guys. I really appreciate it. A quick plug for my new channel that I'm starting up, which is how to build a YouTube channel. That's actually what it is. How to build a YouTube channel.com. And it's going to be going over how to build a YouTube channel and make decent money. Not enough that you're going to quit your day job. Not enough that you're going to be buying a fry, but enough that you're saying, hey, this is... This is decent. Uh, uh, this, and again, you can scale it. If you want to get to the point where you can buy a Ferrari, that's great. I'll show you what the, where, where all the tools are, and you can just have at it, Haas, and just take it on. So until the next video, this has been the High Tech Nomad signing out.